Before you do anything, I want you to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you rockin' with Young Dolph. Let me know where y'all from. I like to send my condolences out to Young Dolph. R.I.P. Young Dolph. I'ma give a moment of silence to Young Dolph. Yo, Gotti, he know for a fact that they, they coming down on him right now. It's over with for CMG. I wanna let everybody know they ran up and money bag your crib. They found the weapons that had something to do with what happened in Makita's. And I want everybody to look at the key facts in this. This is a revolving door. We have to really pay attention to the facts of what's going on because the feds, they finna lock another guy up. And that end, Young Dolph sent up. I want everybody to look at this, man, because we know for a fact. The way that they did it, it was a strategic move in the way that they really sat back and act like Young Dolph won the top dog of Memphis. And I want everybody to know, Young Dolph was the king of Memphis. Throw them Dolphins down in the comment section because I want to let everybody pay attention to what the prosecutors just brought forth. Police shows a person in gray pants and a dark hoodie with gun in hand, apparently firing. Also released a photo of a white car that may be linked to the case. Police have not said where the pictures were taken, but all around Makita's cookies where dog was shot down are businesses with security video cameras. And I want everybody to look at the key things. Makita Raven, Big Juke, Govan, Straight Drop, Cornelia Smith, 901 Trick or Trait, Pamela Hill, I want everybody to know, what is these people going to do once your Gotti go down? Once they lock your Gotti up, what is they going to be able to do, y'all? All these people were involved. All of these people have something to do with it, and they're going to get what they deserve, too. Yo Gotti, it's coming for him. This, The karma is coming for him. He knows what he did. We all, anyone with a brain can connect the dots. Everybody can see what actually happened, and it's sad. <clears throat> it's so sad that this happened in the first place. It all started over a girl and some beefing song lyrics. It's, it's really sad that it got to the point where someone lost their life over a miscommunication, an argument, something petty. And a lot of people sit back and they, they feel that young Dolph, he rode around in the bulletproof cars even when he went to, to his shows in different states. Once he went to Charlotte, his truck got hit up a hundred times. Can't nobody yeah. say that that was just a coincidence. And who was it? Who was it? It was Black Youngster. They said it that Black Youngster Black was at, Youngster. at the scene. It was Yo Gotti's man, his underling, who ended up being identified at the scene. That's crazy. The whole situation is insane. Once you see somebody go out there and do something to somebody's car, and then once they ran back, this is how Black Youngster got caught. And I want to let y'all know, it could have been anybody. It could have been the neighbors, anybody. But we, we all know for a fact they caught them. They caught Black Youngster, the manager, and everybody. I want everybody to look at, once they ran back to the car, if they were smart enough, they would have never instantly hopped right in the same car that they pulled up in. Mm -hmm. They got the license plate. This is how everything was tracked back to the guy with the head on. I want everybody to really pay attention to this because this is a crazy situation that happened, but the feds watching it, you gotta understand, the feds don't play no games. When they knock at your door, they not gonna take you right then and now, but it will be documented. And just like they said, you can get away scot-free and then they instantly knock at your door a second time and now you gone. Now you mm -hmm. thought everything was sweet. You thought it was just going to instantly get swept under the rug. We ain't yeah. sweeping nothing under the rug. R.P. Dolph, at the end of the day, we know what's going on. And the key facts in this straight drop, the court coming up, hey, the court trial coming up real soon. And people sit back and look at it like, oh, is Big Juke going to be there? Big Juke got to be there. Nobody heard from Big Juke but Yo Gotti, Black Youngster, and Govan. And I don't understand. Why would Govan still be communicating with Big Juke when he know for a fact? All that, you trying to explain yourself and tell um, Big Juke why he, you feel me, why he actually told on them? 
you can't explain yourself if it's on papers. And the paperwork has dropped, you guys. The receipts is here now, you guys. Everybody know for a fact that Black Youngster, Govan, Big Ju, that Bentley truck, Cornelius Smith hopping out that car with them great, jo them, them great sweats on. Y'all already know them, that jogging suit with that Bass Pro hat. They know they going down at the end of the day. I want everybody to pay attention to what the, the DA don't play no games when they step in. When they step in, they have all the ducks in order. They have all the evidence at this point. They have Govan's statements. They have everything they need. And they're working on connecting the dots, getting it all together so that when they do come up and present the case, it's perfect. Dotted lines, cross the T's, everything is in order and they can actually prosecute. And I know for a fact, Young Dolph left behind his family. Me and Jay wanted to marry Dolph. And yeah. people sit back and look at it like, why would she even come out and make a song about the guys who supposedly did that to Dolph? She made the song in remembrance of Dolph because Dolph would have did the same thing. The same way that she supported the cookie shop after Dolph was sent up. Dolph loved that cookie shop. He went there all the time. He would get cookies for his family and bring it back home. That cookie shop meant a lot to him. And that's why Mia J took her money, Dolph's money, and helped to replace and repair and support the cookie shop and the cookie shop workers. And this is why Raven, she spoke out. She said that the only reason Pamela Hill gave the statement when they came and did all this, she gave the statement because she was the one who saw Young Dolph. That was the last person that actually was able to see Young Dolph even talking. I want everybody to look at the fact if they would have never ran in the cookie shop and caught him with his back turned, he would have been able to run at least to the back or back to the back. Or it's up for cover or something. Get nope. the line of shot. For real, because nobody gave him any warning. Nobody said, hey, Dolph, duck. Hey, duck. Hey, duck, man. Hey, watch. Hey, there goes somebody behind you. It's yeah. a cop pulling up. Anything. They could have said no anything. One him. And again, we'll go back to the point. His bodyguards weren't there. His friends weren't there. He was alone in that cookie shop, basically. He was set up, and it was all a plan. And it's really dark and really sad. They planned that. They made it so that he had no one around him. They followed him. They got him up out of them bulletproof cars. And they yeah. said that this was premeditated. The feds don't play no games. They got a 99% conviction rate. If you in Memphis, you know for a fact, you better duck your taco, man, because if you don't, man, people know for a fact what's going on in the hood. You have to be cautious of where you go, the things you do, and the people you keep around you because you never know. One day, a person could see you, and you feel me? If you ain't on point looking out every mirror, at every side mirror, looking at your blind spots, you gonna get caught up in that jam. And I know everybody, they lock their door as soon as they get in the car. But as soon as you lock your doors, you're supposed to be adjusting your mirrors and putting on your seatbelt. Because if you put on your seatbelt, you'll be able to, you feel me, look side to side instead of turning your whole body around. If you turn your whole body around, you'll be able to really miss what's going on in front of you instead of just, you feel me? Like at the end of the day, Black Youngster Brother got sent up through this whole aftermath of what happened with Young Dolph. R.I.P. Young Dolph because at the end of the day, Key Glock should have been right there with him. I know for a fact, everybody who played a role in this, they looking at me and Jay like how they did off that movie Juice when dude was hugging the mama the whole time. He was the one that did it. I want y'all to really pay attention to what's going on because the key facts is coming out now, y'all. I want everybody to know this is a sad situation and this is a dirty game. Everybody know if you're from the streets, your number one enemy, them females, and not just any female, the females who are out there setting people up. And I want you to let me know if you know somebody who's setting people up. Everybody sat back and thought that this was going to be something that was going to just pass on. No, it don't just pass on or get swept under the rug that quick, especially when everything is documented. Mm -hmm. This is something that is going to take down the whole CMG. If you, I rock with Young Dolph more than I rock with anybody. If you rock with PRE, throw them Dolphins down in the comment section. Let me know where y'all from. Let me know if you rocking with Dolph, man. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and let me know if you 
Gonna bash some of the merch down in the comments.